Mm. I like it. Yeah, me too. Super yummy. Yeah. Rick Vito, of course, a bad, bad man. Yeah. Great. Speaking of yummy. Great, awesome, scrumptious guitarist. Best known for his slide renderings, but this guitar is for his non-slide renderings, per se. More or less. Yes. Yes. Uh, over, we've been working with Rick Vito for 15 years, 16 years. Um, Rick had the only signature guitar in the original Reverend line. Really cool little thing with snakes and stuff all over. It was all voodooed out and shit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, Joe met Rick when he was playing for... Uh, Bonnie Raitt. Yes. And uh, this Rick, I mean, Rick. Rick's played with everybody. Um, he told me once that he he dropped out of college to replace Clapton and Delaney and Bonnie. Uh-huh. And his mother was so pissed that <laughs> he dropped out of college. Mm-hmm. And then he kind of made something of himself. Yeah. Uh, uh, he went from that to um, be one of the long line of legends that played in John Mayall's band. Oh, yeah. And then um, Jackson Brown. Yep. I mean, you, you all of the, the slide solo work that you hear in, in, in all of Jackson's, you know, seminal records. Mm -hmm. were a lot of them, you know, um, played by Rick through the legendary Dumble. Yes. But, you know. And of course, the Like a Rock um, solo. The Like a Rock solo, the work with Seeger. And then, I mean, and then when uh, Buckingham dropped out of Fleetwood Mac, Rick Vito went in and played lead guitar for Fleetwood Mac for years um, through the 80s and is, is on a lot of Fleetwood Mac recordings. And it's just, and then Rick does this Peter Green thing. Right. That's just terrifying, you know? So good, and he uh, and he is currently playing guitar in Mick Fleetwood's blues band, which is just Killer. awesome. I mean, oh, it's so good. Uh, it's those two guys with um, a lot of uh, native Hawaiian musicians, and they do uh, renditions of a lot of the, the Fleetwood Mac yes. stuff and, and and newer stuff and original Fleetwood Mac stuff, and just you know, Mick. Mm -hmm. Mix in our club, dude. Yeah, he's a big fella. He's a big. He's big a drumming dude. fool. And 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 he listen. He's about as big as one of my legs, too. But I, I rocked a ponytail for a long time. As did even, I. Even with the the skullet, as I like to call it. And uh, I would be places with Rick, and and people <laughs> would think you were Mick. Apparently, I look like Mick a little bit. And when I had the ponytails, but but I'm like, okay, I'm I'm 45. <laughs> How am I supposed to? Like, oh, cool, he thinks I'm a rock. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, because Mick Fleetwood's got to be damn near 70 years old. And and you wouldn't know watching him play the drums, man. Right. God, he, he's he's a monster, monster musician. Rock music so, can keep a man young. And, I mean, at, at, at as, you know, uh, the guy running Reverend Guitars, I couldn't be more proud to have a guy like Rick Vito on our sure. roster. You know, Rick is just awesome. So... Uh, a few years ago, and you can find some video of this uh, at, I believe, wildwood.com. Mm -hmm. Wildwoodguitars.com, ladies and gentlemen. I sat with Rick in these very chairs, yes. and um, we discussed the release of his original model, and you can find all that information here. And um, it was it was awesome, mm -hmm. you know. And what we what we did with this is Rick Rick has got a. Um, Rick has an Art Deco flair to his whole existence. You know? uh, okay. And um, he had a custom guitar that he made called the Streamliner, which had some of the um, renderings that you see on our Rick Vito model. Um, but he was he's a big fan of the the, the striping and the lines sure. and the pins and stripes and this and that. And my, my favorite thing on this guitar visually is the stair step. Oh, yeah. The stair step binding thing that goes on at the heel. Um, with the different, you know, layers of guitar. Um, it's a Karina solid body with a three-piece Karina neck and an ebony board. Um, Reverend's pin lock tuners set into this ultra fancy tuning key. Again, Way with cool. our deco flair. Um, so Rick's original uh, signature model 
featured uh, a, what we call a dual pro pickup at the bridge and, okay. and one of a Reverend P90 in the neck position. If you'll notice, even on these guitars, uh, the neck position is moved a little closer to the bridge than yeah, you yeah. Would normally find. Um, gets rid of some of that like low end boom that you find in the neck thing. And what Rick was looking for with that dual, with the, the mid range from the P90 and, and the dual pro pickup was to be able to get a real vocal quality for a slide playing. Um, and as time went on in the, the numerous different gigs that he had, he started to sort of develop a use maybe for a second guitar to go along with his slide. Got it. Guitar, and we had we had this model really dialed in for slide, but he kind of wanted a Bigsby to start doing some of this and that, and um, so we started screwing around with the guitar a little bit, and it and Rick really likes our Revtron pickups. He has um, a model that we make called the Flat Rock that has these pickups, and what would those pickups sound like in my model? Well, they sound great. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, this is a lower output Alnico humbucker, um, and what we do with the controls. This is your master volume, master tone, and the bass contour control, which okay. you're fond of playing with. Your play with fondling with. Yes. This is a blend control okay. for the pickups. Um, straight up and down, feel that. There's a little center detent right here. Okay. Well, that tells you where the middle is. Yes. Got it. At that point, both pickups are wide open. You get a little bit of compression because of the tone circuit at that point. So you go a little bit to either side and it opens up a little bit. It's just electronics, it's how they work. All the way to the bridge. Yep. So cool. You can almost use that as an additional tone control for yep. the guitar. Um, dialing in mid-range, you know, dialing in the mid-range from the neck pickup uh, works really well. So as we go into 2016, um, well, this is the new, this is the new Reverend Rick Vito RT model in cream and metallic alpine. Beautiful. I love metallic alpine. It's gorgeous. Um, they, uh, we are and then, and then we are taking his original Rick Vito model. Uh, we're calling that the Rick Vito classic. Uh -huh. And we are taking the Bigsby from that model and going back to the hardtail. And that, so we, that is going to be the Rick Vito Classic is his slide guitar. Right. And then this is the Rick Vito RT, which is his all purpose conventional playing guitar. Yes. Cool. Yeah, man. It's, I, it's cool. It's cool to be doing something else with Rick. Yep. You know what I mean? Uh, and then, and then we're, we've sort of covered what he does. Right. You know what I mean? I'm pretty fired up about it. And rightly so. Yeah. Pff, very yeah. cool. Well, listen, folks, we're going through the whole roster of Reverend we are. renderings. Yes. For 2016 here in the Wildwood Lair. I'm here with Ken Haas from Reverend. I'm Gregory Cockery. We'll see you cats in the flippity floppery. Hey, on the way out of here, let's hear some of that chime. You got it. It's, it's glassy and smooth. Yeah, see you cats later. Thanks. <laughs>